gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up morning and we woke up very early this morning but for good reason we are taking the kids um, fishing in the Gulf today and we're really excited because none of us have ever done this kind of fishing before so we are going to go out and try and catch some fish and get our first experience of it's not really deep sea fishing we're gonna just go into the bay here in Port Aransas and see what we can catch all right, here's the fisherman. Are you seaworthy? I hope so. Because <laughs> I can barely stand the smell of fish now. So. There's no feeding the fishes. <laughs> and here's the captain himself. I'm not the captain this time, <laughs> and I'm glad. I'm, uh, I'm gonna let the professionals do it. Yeah. So. Are you gonna catch a big one? I am. I'm gonna catch the biggest fish of everybody, for sure. Yeah. How is the aroma this morning? It smells good. It smells like uh, fish. <laughs> it's not coffee? There's a lot of bait tanks over there and uh, I tell you what, it's putrid. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? It stinks. <laughs> All right, when Luke travels, he likes to buy hats. Well, the thing is, I have a really big head. Because you're so if you smart. you noticed, <laughs> because I'm really smart. No, that's not why. Um, and it's really hard for me to find hats that fit, and that fit comfortably, and that actually, that I like. It's a very narrow fit. So, when I find a hat that fits and I actually like it, then I try to buy it. So, yeah. this one fits and I like it. it has a fit I like it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna go fishing. I'm gonna catch yeah. a fish that big. Well, hopefully bigger than that. <laughs> we are not on a boat. We are at breakfast. Unfortunately, um, our boat had a mechanical issue with it and they had to schedule the trip on a different day because they weren't gonna be able to get it in the fix. So we are not going fishing today. We're gonna find out what we're gonna do, but we have rescheduled it hopefully for tomorrow morning. We called an audible. We went to breakfast instead. Yeah. We had a nice breakfast that was not on our agenda this morning, but it replaced the boat ride, well not really boat ride, the fishing trip we were supposed to do. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning we will be able to do some fishing. Luke has taken us for a nice morning drive on the beach. I found a spot that's not too windy so that we can actually do some video but this is our little setup here at the beach Lincoln's on the back getting stuff out of the back of the truck but um, I set the grill up over here and I am cooking some wonderful broths on the grill and uh, this will be a lot, little light lunch because then we're gonna go I think we're gonna go out to dinner tonight so looking forward to that Get some seafood. Lincoln, how was the water? Great. Yeah? It is really nice today. It's actually pretty cool out um, with the breeze, but not once you get into, um, into campground, it's like super hot, but just because of the ocean breeze, it actually feels pretty cool out right now, so it's pretty nice. I think we had a fun day at the beach, yes? Yeah, the kids had a lot of fun playing in the waves. Luke and I were able just to sit and relax. Um, I played in the waves too. <laughs> yes, you did. How were the waves? They were, they were strong waves. They knocked me over a few times. We got cleaned up and we are headed to dinner to a fun place called Crazy Cajuns. So we can't wait to try it out. And then we are looking forward to our rescheduled fishing trip for tomorrow morning. How did you hear about this place called Crazy Cajun? Um, I just kind of
kind of looked it up. I was looking for places, fun places, and I wanted to try some um, Cajun style food, the crawfish. Oh yeah, yeah. And all that, so I thought it would be fun. <laughs> and they brought us some fresh bread. Ooh, it's warm and butter. We decided to start out with some shrimp, a little appetizer, what's it called? Shrimp rim rimolade. I'd say they were pretty good. And we got some jambalaya. We just had to try this. It looks really good. Ribs. Watch out, potatoes. I didn't want it to roll off. Right. Oh, it comes with crab legs too. I didn't oh, yeah. even see that. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. This looks amazing. So Lincoln. Yeah. Lincoln even got some ribs. They just dumped it right on the table. We should maybe eat like this at home. You guys would have to do dishes. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Progress update. We have done a lot of damage. There's a lot of empty carcasses. There's some shrimp left here. Kenya pretty much destroyed these uh, crawfish. The only way you can eat them. Lincoln cleaned his ribs. <laughs> you guys wish we ate this way at home? <laughs> Do you like it, Kenya? That crab was amazing. I think that was my favorite part. Yeah. The crab legs. My favorite seafood is crab. They were so good. The crawfish were really good. These little sausage are good. They're a little spicy. The shrimp were good, but they're a little bit of work. You like it? It's so good, especially the crab. I am going to highly recommend the Crazy Cajun if you are in Port Aransas, Texas. That was one of the most fun dining experiences I have had as a family. I have always wanted to try Cajun style food and especially this way that they just dump it all on the table. So the crazy Cajun, you guys have got to check it out. Jill and I were sitting on the couch and uh, just kind of relaxing and suddenly we realized both the kids were on their bunks in their separate rooms and <laughs> Kenya <laughs> is eating pie and t <laughs> talking to who? Belle, say hi. Howdy, hi. Hi, Belle. <laughs> hi, Belle. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Belle, what did you say? Say it. Say it. Bell. Bell's gone mute. Literally, all I said was, howdy, hi, how's the pie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then Lincoln. Now your brother's finding out, out about this. Lincoln, Lincoln, who are you talking to? Micah. Yeah, hey, Micah. Hello. There's Micah. What's up, buddy? Hello. How you doing, buddy? Good. So anyway, the kids are talking to the their cousins because even on vacation. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> nice. Even on vacation, they they miss them and talk to them a lot. Okay, we are on day two, trying to go fishing, and I'm excited to say it looks like it's a go this morning. The boat is fixed. So just a quick um, bit of information about where we, we have booked and why I chose what we did. A lot of the private charters seemed a little bit more expensive and I wanted to make sure since this was our first time I didn't want to overdo it. So I found this spot in Port Aransas and it is called Deep Sea Headquarters. And 
Um, they had a three and a half hour bay trip that is only like $42 per person that it came out to for 12 and over. And it's three and a half hours and we're gonna be fishing in the bay. And all the other thing that you have to do is anyone 17 years and older has to get a fishing license. And all Luke and I did was purchase um, a one day fishing license. It was $16 each. So for this being our first time and um, not wanting to be out on the water too long because I don't know how the kids are gonna react on the boat, I thought this was a pretty good deal to go have some family fun and not totally break the bank on this one. Catch a fish. He's you're gonna catch one, but you can't be the only one in our group that doesn't catch one. All right, Luke's got another one. Fish on the bow. There he is. Oh man. Look at that big ship behind you. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? He just went right by us. From Dubai? Yeah. Uh, you caught the wrong fish, Kenya. Please don't catch the wrong fish anymore. My fault. It was the one who ate all my Only catch the ones that we get to eat. 
Yeah. You got something, buddy? Uh, you got shrimp. Top shrimp. There's a lot of those in these waters. <laughs> Fish on, Lincoln's got one. Let's see what he's got. Oh, it's a good size one. Good size. Fish on. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> he's trying. Fish on the mouth. That'll eat. <laughs> Where's the dolphin? How many is that that we can eat now? I don't know, too many. Too many. That's not a bad problem to have. Alright. Those are pretty looking. They got nice color on them. our last afternoon that we had spent on the beach before we start driving back first thing tomorrow. Luke is just setting up the outdoor kitchen for me um, because I'm getting ready to cook dinner. He's such a great sous chef. I just love him when he helps out in the kitchen, which is quite often actually. And for dinner tonight, I'm doing a couple of different things. We are definitely gonna cook some of that fish that we caught on our fishing excursion today. And I'm also gonna cook a rack of ribs. Uh, I have a really simple, easy recipe. And the reason why I'm doing a little extra food is one, um, Lincoln isn't always a huge fan of fish, especially if it's got a stronger fish taste. And two, since we are gonna start driving back tomorrow, I wanted to have some extra food in the fridge that we could just come back and um, grab a quick lunch or when we stop at night, just a really quick dinner that's already made and we can eat it and ribs are really good cold even. So I'm gonna start my ribs and I usually cook them, you'll see, on the stove first. Um, I boil them in a pot for a while. If you are interested in my really easy but really good rib recipe, please make sure and check out that link in the description below. All right, I am cooking outside at our wonderful outdoor kitchen that we have at our campsite. We absolutely love this site here at this um, RV campgrounds. It's site 508. The fish that we've got, I don't know, I think we're gonna try and fry some of it up tonight. It's the fish that we caught earlier today. And what we caught today is gaff top fish. And it's kind of like a deep water, not exactly catfish. They wouldn't let us call it catfish. So I think probably frying it up with a breading is gonna be good. Um, I brought some cashew milk out because we are dairy free um, for Lincoln. And I thought we could at least um, let it soak and use that as a base. So, so cashew milk and some fresh lemon squeezed in there. And I'll start the fillets off in here. And then I was gonna make a breading. And so I've got this panko gluten-free breading and an assortment of spices that I found in the camper that I took with us on this trip. And we're gonna try it this way and fry them in the pan. I have pulled about eight fillets out of the fish that we caught today. Um, they went ahead and cleaned them for us once we got off the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the 
cashew milk slash lemon bath that I have here. And then we will coat them with our breadcrumb coating and put them in the frying pan. So now that we've let the fish soak in the cashew milk and lemon bath, I am just covering them with panko breadcrumbs and the seasoning. We'll take them to the pan and fry them. Now we get to see if the oil's hot enough, which it should be. I'm cooking it in coconut oil because vegetable oil doesn't work for Lincoln. Here we go. Just caught today and already in the frying pan. Doesn't get any fresher than that. Saltwater catfish, basically. Yeah. We'll see how fishy they are. <laughs> oh, the smells coming out of this outdoor kitchen are amazing. So here we have fried fish that was caught today, of course. And over here on the grill, we have some barbecue ribs that are amazing. Oh, they smell so good. She's pulling them off. Breading might have stuck better had I used the egg, but with Luke and Lincoln's <laughs> allergies, harder to catch it out of the pan than it was out of the water. Looks good. Over here we have some ribs. Alright, we all contributed to this meal because each of us caught a fish that was kept and part of this catch. Right? Right. So should we reveal it and see what it looks like? I can't Can wait to see you guys try too? it. I didn't catch this pig, <laughs> but we all caught this these fish. Let's see them. <gasps> Yum. It, it, yeah, so we'll see how the breading is. But the coconut oil cooked it a lot faster than what I anticipated, but I think it'll still be okay. It looks great. I'm ready to dig in. All right, we're gonna have to get some reactions on this. All right, Kenya's up first. Let's see what she thinks of the fish that she caught in the ocean today. It's amazing. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. Lincoln, you're next. What do you think, buddy? Mm. What do you think? That's really good. Wow, two for two. You're up. I get to have your reaction. I like it. Um, it's not as strong as what I thought it was going to be, but it could be the seasoning that I used. So I want to see your reaction. So you like it? It didn't taste good? Yes. No, I like it. <laughs> Why do we say we don't want fish to taste too I fishy? know. Alright. Very good. I like it. Details? I can taste a little bit of the ocean in it. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. It's, it's got a good texture to it. Yay! Alright guys, so we hope you liked this episode of us fishing and cooking what we caught. It's been a fun camping trip and we have to head home tomorrow. Boo. So we're gonna finish our dinner and go find some fun for tonight. But we hope you guys like this episode and our little adventure we went on today. So as always, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.